do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place cause the love you give you can't be replaced so go now hi everyone i'm back it's been almost a year but i'm here to start off we're saying thank you so much for all the new subscribers I got. Um, but today we're going to be doing a Lion King prop. I have not did a video in a long time. So I want to go ahead and do this video before it's too late. <laughs> so what I have here is my Lion King. I got him from Etsy. It's an SVG, not a PNG. It's an SVG. So make sure it's sure it's a SVG and not a PNG. But on Etsy they're pretty um cheap. But I'm sizing it to be 25, um, almost 26 inches in height. Um the bigger the better, but I just did this one smaller because he's already standing up and he's so freaking cute. So what I'm doing now is getting ready to um slice, getting my slicing tools as she used to say because it is kind of like my slicing tool i'm gonna be slicing with it but <clears throat> those are my squares that i'm going to be using to slice my pieces um the pieces i'm going to have to put together so i'm going to go ahead and ungroup the picture <laughs> it's not letting me move it to the far side because i have an imac like desktop so it's like really big so it's just not letting me I don't know why but cricket doesn't let me go that far over so what I'm gonna do now well what you're gonna see me doing now is um actually getting the smaller pieces sliced and I'm not slicing them in half or anything I'm just getting rid of the negative space because if I were to just go to make it right now without doing that then you're going to be wasting paper. Because you see how far apart that brown piece is that I'm about to slice. Literally all that negative space would be paper that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and slice those so therefore I can put them closer together. And it could be on one mat so I won't waste paper because we don't waste paper around here definitely don't and definitely will not start now <laughs> so what i'm going to be doing next the key is when you're slicing you're going to want to go ahead and um slice it to where it will fit on either a 12 by 12 mat or a 12 by 24 mat if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat then you're going to have to go ahead and slice the pieces to where they will fit on the 12 by 12 mat but be sure if you have a Cricut, the newest Cricut, where it can cut longer than 24 um, inches, make sure you pay attention to how big you're making it because if not, it's, it's going to tell you that you need the smart card stock. I never tried using smart card stock yet, but I, I wouldn't even say I highly don't recommend because I don't even know how it works. <laughs> so <laughs> you can use that if you want, but I'm not sure how that would cut um for the simple fact that it's not on the mat and you're gonna have to tape pieces together so i'm not sure how that will work but in a minute i'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up because the same thing you're doing to the outside layer like the layer that i'm cutting on now is the same thing you're going to do on the um the black layer which is going to be the back layer which is basically the outline <laughs> which out without you actually outlining it so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear me talk and you don't want to see it, see me cut it. <laughs> um, and by all means, if you guys feel like I'm talking too much or it's too long, you can go ahead and fast forward um, to the designated spot you would like or part you would like to see. So in a couple seconds, this will be speeding up. Thank you.
So now we're on to the next part. After you slice everything, you're going to need your tape. You're going to need your glue, which is the berry art, and that is a very great glue to have on Amazon. You're going to have the desired colored paper that you're going to be needing for the prop that you choose to do. Um, I use that orange because I don't know why, but I honestly feel like it's good to have 12 by 12 cardstock because, first of all, it's, it'll take you way less time to sit there and you know piece everything together this is the part that's kind of like that takes the longest is the piecing the um papers together especially if you don't have 12 by 12 you see how the 12 by 12 you just that's a whole mat you just tape them together on to the next piece you need to tape but just go ahead and tape those together make sure you get them as close as you possibly can um because if not then your picture could be off like i it, i can't really explain it it's not going to be off but some parts might be off center and yeah just just get it as close as possible like they need to be touching literally touching so I'm going to speed it up because I'm pretty sure you guys get the concept. You just need to tape um, however many pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock that you need for your project. Tape those together and you should be straight. See, like in this case, I have 11, not 11, I'm sorry, but eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And if my, um, if my cutout that I did is longer than the eight and a half, if it goes like over to nine inches in width, then I will have to cut off a little piece to go over there. So that's why it's better to buy 12 by 12 cardstock than to buy the, um, the eight and a half by 11 because then uh, to me i don't know i'm just impatient i like to get stuff done so i can see the finished product so i can take pictures and that's my problem i need to start being patient but you know <laughs> my things always come out good anyways <laughs> i am not good with voiceovers i hate hearing myself talk and i just hate i just hate it i wish i could do like on tiktok or the lady can talk for me because I hate talking. <laughs> but yes, enjoy me taping these pieces of paper together. <laughs> So now that we have these pieces taped together, now it's time for the puzzle. So what I usually do is go back on my Cricut. First of all, what am I doing? Get your berry glue. Because if you don't got your berry glue, then what is you doing? You're going to need that. It's $14, I think, if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon. It's very good. Like, I'm going to put the link down below in the bio or the, the comments or yeah, you'll see it because you can click on it and it'll go straight to it. <laughs> but now, usually what I do is I pull up my design space, my Cricut design space, and I pull up the picture. Um, I'll either upload it again so I can see exactly what, where every piece goes or what's best to do is um, puzzle it back together on the computer first and then, you know, put it together. This part isn't hard, but sometimes I have had made the mistake of actually, like, you know, 
taping the wrong pieces together, but it's just tape. So you're not gluing nothing, you're not stapling nothing, you're not hot gluing nothing. You can fix it. But don't be me. Don't do that. Do it right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're going to have mistakes. Okay. So I'm gonna just going to go ahead and speed the video up because all you're doing is putting the puzzle together. That's literally all you're doing. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me do that. So yes, feel free to fast forward. Okay, so for this part, um, I went ahead and did it off camera. I just placed all of my top pieces, my orange pieces, pieces, which is the main part that we sliced on the computer when you see me do it in the beginning of the video. What I usually do, you can piece them together just like this, but what I like to do, my personal preference, is to go ahead and piece all of those pieces together that you see that was sliced because to me it gives it a cleaner look when it's finished and when you see it in person and when, yes it just looks better because i tried free you know like how everything was laid out when the video first came on i used to try to do well, i did it once i did it once yep i sure did it once mm -hmm. <laughs> And don't, just don't do that. Don't be me. Don't try to do no shortcut. Just just do it the right way. Because if you don't do it the right way, then it's not going to come out how you want to. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm going to fast forward this part too because it's literally a puzzle. I know you guys are good at puzzles. <laughs> Okay, so since we're done with that part, in this part, you're going to need your pencil, you're going to need an X-Acto knife, and you're going to need your glue gun and, of course, your whiteboard or whatever you're using to make your prop stand up. I use the whiteboard. I do want to try a different method with a dowel, a wooden dowel, and the um, wooden, like the wooden base boards, I guess, that you can get at Hobby Lobby because that'll be, they'll look nicer. <laughs> it'll definitely look nicer but now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and outline the lion the baby lion the lion king I'm going to go ahead and outline him because once I outline him I'm going to cut him out with my exacto knife and I kind of don't like this part <laughs> I don't like using the exacto knife it's just not for me, like, I just don't like it. I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> but it's so stinking cute. Like, look at him. He's so cute. But I'm going to go ahead and 
fast forward because I'm going to start cutting it. And yes, like the cutting part is just to me, I don't like it. But what I'm doing right now actually is putting down my self self healing mat because I don't want to cut the table. But now I'm going to fast forward it. <laughs> you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but i ain't seen myself another girl like you this ring here represents my heart but there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my baby and this here, you guys, is the finished product. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join my crafting group, Crafting with Ari. I want to see what you guys come up with. Like, if you could please leave a picture in our group, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Bye.